What's up everybody? OCD Farming here today and welcome back to Weimar Canada for a fresh map tour ski. So yeah, this is by Mappers Paradise. It's 502 megabytes to download and yeah, it's for all platforms. Uh, so yeah, and we also found the million dollar cash hunt. So I am going to insert a clip on how to find it. Um, so yeah. What's up everybody? I'm here to show you how to uh, find this million dollar cash hunt uh, in Weimar, Canada. So yeah, uh, first we uh, are, we got our first clue here. Where Canada, where is, where Canada's favorite sport is played in Weimar. Um, so that is obviously hockey, which would be a hockey arena, which is uh, in the town. Um, so we'll jump over to the farmer's market. And we'll head straight down the street here, right behind us. We'll make a right. It's right here. This building right here in front of me. And the clue, second clue, is right here. Lots of deer on these lands, here lands, but you need to look where you would find green deer. Um, so... Me knowing there is a John Deere dealership, we'll go to the shop. There we go, John Deere Agriculture. And we'll head over to the sign. It is just over here, actually. Clue number three, sold animals and some old lady with a sign. So that is obviously the animal dealer, uh, which is right over here. And this one, I think, it's over here. Oh, maybe not. Hey, buddy, 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 buddy. oh, here it is, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, clue number four is a trash can by railroad. So, we will go to this railroad storage silo here. And it is on the train track, so we'll head out back. And it was near garbage, it said, which is right here. Clue number five, you will need to send a postcard. Fill the tank while you are there. Okay, so we need to go to the gas station. Which is just right here. Jackie's Cafe, and the last final thing is right here. Oh dear, go back to where you started from. Did you check behind every door at the main farm? Best go look, eh? All right, so we have to head back to the main farm, which is right here. And we actually had to head to this grain silo right here. Um, so yeah, uh, I can't really jump to it right now. So let me just find something to jump to. Don't look, I still haven't showed you. So don't look. Um, but yeah, so this silo here, it, we started off with. Um, I'm obviously a new farmer. Um, but yeah, it is not in here. This door doesn't open. The door is actually right here. And this is where you find the million dollar thing right here. You just have to click L3 your left analog stick but yeah it's right at this clock here but yeah that's how you find the million dollar cash hunt so enjoy <laughs> all righty and we're back all right so hopefully you guys got your million dollars and we're all good uh so yeah we'll start off our map tour um we do have a little bit more land this time and a bit more money this time uh, we also have a few less animal pens and they're not as big and we didn't take out any grass or anything so yeah um, but yeah anyways we own uh, a bunch of fields uh, actually a bunch of them are ready to harvest we have one two uh, we got a wheat field here, Durham wheat here and here and here. Uh, and then we got a canola harvest here. Um, and then we also own these two fields, these two, 
these, these, and we own these two weird shaped fields. So yeah, I figured why not. Um, but yeah, uh, we also have three-ish farms. Uh, this one here is pretty much part of the main farm, I will say, but yeah. Um, so we got the main farm here. We got a, a bit of storage over here, I will say, and a few other things. And then over here is our animal farm. And uh, we do have a lot smaller animal pens this time, but we do have a decent amount still. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, we'll get right to it. We are at the main farm here. We are at our house. Uh, our house is just over here. It's the Weimar Canada modded one. It's one of them. There's, I think, two or three. And we do have a little path that goes to our backyard here. So, yeah. Um, so that's that. We got the old workshop shed here with our TLX uh, 1982s. Uh, this one's here, just got the fuel deposit. This one's got our long body, and this one, or <laughs> this is a not a TLX 1982, this is a Lizard AGR 1500 with case attire. And then in here we have the uh, Banshee Quad ATV. And we have the long hair gooseneck tipper. And I will say we do not have any gates this time. I'm sick of gates. I got rid of all the gates. <laughs> uh, anyways, so yeah, this is a Weimar Canada modded shed. And in it we have our water, ABI tank, water tank, trailer. Jeez. And we got the IntelliTrack UTV. Closing. Uh, we also have another shed here, and all we have in it is the Husqvarna riding lawnmower. That's it. So, yeah, that's that. Uh, we have a small garage shed here, and in it we have our Rumbler van truck things. We got the muck spreader that will hold 10 million, million liters, and we have the loading wagon that will hold 10 million liters. That's that. Uh, we have a lime station here. This is a Weimar Canada modded lime silo kind of thing. So yeah, it's that. We got some deer, freaking deer. Uh, I also added a cow a cow barn, um, cow pasture, and this is a Weimar Canada modded one, and it holds 300 cows. So not bad. It's kind of like the American sheep barn. So holds the same, looks the same like it uh, we also have these small horse pasture here and it holds five horses we got a multi fruit multi fruit fill trigger there we got a grain 20 million liter grain quid silo there uh, American water tower there a herbicide silo here and this is a Weimar Canada one I believe it's herbicide. It could also be for liquid fertilizer too. I'm not sure. Uh, we got a buying station for liquids right there. Uh, metal garage shed here with the RTO trailer to the side. And I don't think there's anything in there anyways. No, there isn't. So yeah, that's that. Uh, we got the KT10 mixer in here though. And we have a DLC uh, 1066 Farmall, and we got Save the Cleaning Lady. Oh, yeah, in case we need a lot of TMR or something. Alright, that's that. And uh, we'll come over here. This shed I did not place. And in it, we got our heavy haul sleepers. Uh, this one here will auto load bales. I believe it holds 42 square bales, is what we'll be doing. And then we got the agricultural trailer with the extension. So yeah, that is that. Uh, we got one of these drive-through sheds with four bays. And in it we got our TLX Phoenix X2s. We got our dumper with the unrealistic capacity. We got the tanker with the unrealistic capacity. Uh, we got the auto load bale. Uh, attachment and we also have our man livestock truck that will hold just horses I'm going to transport on this one. Alright, that is that. 
So yeah, we did get rid of this silo that was here. Uh, we got a seed production. I believe this is just seeds. Yeah. So we can do seed wheat, seed durum wheat, and barley, peas, and lentils. Oh, pretty cool. And we need this auger here. I did not buy it, but we, I didn't get rid of it, so yeah. Um, and then we unload in here, which is pretty cool. I like it. And then the pallet, or yeah, no, there is no pallet, so we have to get with the auger, silly. Uh, we got lime production here, and we have a fertilizer uh, silo here. Weimar Canada modded one. That's that. Uh, this shed here, it's a Weimar Canada modded workshop, I believe, and I did not place it. Uh, and in it, we got our 4540 case Titan. It's going to be for lime. Uh, we got our Patriot uh, 250 sprayer with not without the sugarcane addition. Uh, we got the 350 big M mower or the 450 big M mower. Uh, this is a modded one. Uh, we got the 900 Colossus, and this will hold 72,000 liters or something like that, and go 17k. And we got the Case 821G wheel loader with the 6,400 liter Brussels and laid high tip bucket, I believe. And that's everything in there. Uh, we also have a workshop bench beside this drive through shed here. And we have another drive through shed right here. And in this one, we got our Kinsey uh, multi fruit modded planter. Uh, we got our gooseneck. We got our corn header for the Colossus that will go 17k. And so will the Draper header. I'm gonna melt this freaking dry right now. Uh, over here is a pressure washer station, and we got the big massive silo. I don't know. If, yeah, I think you can get rid of it, but I don't know why you would. It's so nice. It looks really cool. It's like the whole map, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, anyways, we'll come on over here, and we got one of these workshop container sheds, and we got the JCB backhoe. We got two 7250s. Uh, this one's got dual narrows in the back and 8,000 kilogram weight. This one's got wides and weights and 1,000 kilogram weight. And then we got uh, two 400 series magnums um, with floaties and a built in weight. One right here and one right there. And then we got a SP 10 meter plow that will go 40K. And we got the Massey Fert Spreader. We also got a, a knockoff Bobcat skid steer with the bucket, bale spike, and a pallet fork. Yeah, buddy. Oh, that is that. And then we'll come on over here. And we do have four bunker silos. One there, one there, one there, and one there. And just so you guys know, this is where your vehicles will reset if you reset them. So yeah, you don't need to drive them all the way back from the shop. You can just reset them here, which is a decent drive. Like, that would cut so much time. Uh, anyways, so yeah, that is the main farm. I'll just give you a little fly over doodle. So yeah, there is no big massive cow pasture over here this time. That's all right. It's kind of glitchy. It's just freaking glitchy as hell. But I did do a little bit better paint splatters. I will say I did a little nicer ones. Made it look a little bit more realistic. Which is good. I forgot to do this one here, but that's okay. And then we got the cow pen here, and the horse paddock, and then we got our house. Alright, and that's everything to show you there. Uh, we'll just head over 
to this farm. I'm just gonna jump to here. We do have a TLX 1982 with the fire truck edition uh, water tanker thing. And we got a Kamatsu forklift. Uh, this thing will go 43k, so it is a little quick, so very nice. And small garage there. Uh, I believe this is a Ymark modded fuel tank, and I think it holds 50,000. Yes, it does. Uh, we got another pressure washer station there. We got two easy sheds here, just base game ones. Uh, this one's got our bale wrapper. We got our Massey baler, square baler. We got the Pottinger tether. We got a 16 meter wind rower with case of tire. Uh, we got the Pottinger weeder. We got the double field roller. We got the Kinsey modded um, disc harrow slash, slash mulcher. Jeez. And we got the stone picker trailer that will hold 75,000 liters. Uh, and we also have two large greenhouses here. Just base game ones. Uh, we got a buying station for liquids. Workshop bench there. Multi fruit fill trigger there. And a uh, shed for bales and pallets. And that is everything to show you here. There is not much over here. Um, but I think we are going to add to this one. We have a bunch of space here we can add to. So, yeah. Might get another piggy pen, but we'll see. But yeah, as you can see, all of this stuff here, I'm going to cut all these trees down. And we're going to make... We're going to connect these tiny little fields and make kind of bigger ones. That's the plan here. And we'll probably put it to like here kind of thing and then have it like right here yeah kind of thing we might just leave it to there but yeah um but yeah that's uh everything to show you here at this farm not much but everything we need uh now we will show you the animal farm and we do have a nether cow cow barn that will hold 300 cows so 600 in total which isn't bad <laughs> Ah. Uh, we got a, another bunker silo there and another one there. Six in total. Um, so yeah, there's the cow pen. Uh, we got a 20 million liter grain quid silo there. Uh, the American sheep barn here that will hold 300 sheep. Uh, we got the pigsty with manure that will hold 250 piggies. And we got a large chicken coop that will hold 500 chickies. Um, we got a honey pal storage rack with four large beehives. A uh, small garage shed here with a nether mod or Weimar Canada modded fuel tank. And in it we have another Sadie the cleaning lady here and a rumbler truck van thing that will hold 38,000 liters. Something like that. So that's that. Uh, we also have another bale and uh, pallet storage shed here. And we have some uh, telehandler attachments. We got a bale spike and a pallet fork. And we also got a tri bagger here. And then in here, all we have is a Brussels and laid bucket for the telehandler. I think it holds like 22,000 liters, 2200 liters or something. Uh, and then we got our Massey telehandler. And another KT-10 mixer with another DLC modded uh, International 1066. <coughs> All right, and I believe that's everything to show you here. Um, do I not have another freaking pressure washer here? Like, really? I thought I put one here, no? Maybe not. Let me just... Give you a little flower and see if I did. Oh, well, I don't think I did. So I gotta add one. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, that is uh, pretty much gonna do it for today. So, uh, tune in uh, next episode where we will be back here for episode number one. And then after that, it will be back at... <laughs> 
Hmm. SnowRunner Episode 12, and then Elma, Missouri, Episodes 2 and 3. And then Train Sim World 4 for Episodes 9 and 10. And then Big Flats, Texas for Episodes 2 and 3. Truck Drivers for 7 and 8. Dredge Creek, Alaska for 2 and 3. Net Farms Map for 2 and 3. A firm bus coach simulator for 13 and new american for episode four so till next time ocd farming signing out the peace out. <laughs>